gathered you all here today to discuss the declining clientele. Recently, I have realized that the staff and employees need to step up and take initiative if the restaurant is going to be restored to its formal glory. I agree. All employees need to take lead and in initiative or the fate of the restaurant looks bleak. Okay, now we have... Now that we have that in agreement, let me outline the steps that will help to get everyone back on track. Okay, everyone, let's give Sasha our full attention. First, I believe that we all need to have an idea about different types of leadership to fully transform the restaurant. The type of leadership that I want to talk about today is organizational leadership. To save this restaurant, and the, the staff and employees must work closely together, and I believe this type of leadership will influence us to attain the goals and objectives that will help to save the under the sea. Could you give a more in-depth explanation of what this type of leadership implies? I was just about to get to that. To further explain organizational leadership, it is an interpersonal process that involves attempts to influence other people in attaining organizational goals. Further, I have the confidence in each and every one of you to step up and save this wonderful, wonderful place. If anyone needs help, always ask. Through my personal positional power, my position as a manager, and my individual skills, I hope to help and guide every one to bring the leadership qualities within the rest of the under under the sea sandbar and restaurant staff. What is a tactic you will use to reinforce leadership in the restaurant? The influence tactic is a management technique that I would use to reinforce leadership. With this tactic, I will set a certain standard of behavior and leadership to influence others to stand up and become more involved in helping save their workplace. Another technique I want to bring up in this meeting is empowerment. To make this work and to see results, I will also have to do my part to delegate tasks and make sure that everyone is putting in their fair share of work. I bring up empowerment because we will have to be able to share power with others, particularly those with less power, to be able to have a better functioning work community. Finally, to close out the meeting, we will need the progression along all staff members taking initiative within their positions to help reverse the declining clientele. Further, with these management techniques, I hope to make all the workers feel more included and part of the team to get the ball rolling back towards the path of success. That was great, Sasha. I cannot wait to see how these management techniques will benefit the business as well as the employees.